All your cells have the same DNA. So what's stopping your eye cells from producing hydrochloric acid like your stomach cells? That mango you're eating is going to your stomach to get digested by the acids that it secretes. But what's stopping your eye cells from producing the same acid that can make you go blind? Epigenetics. Epigenetic changes are like tags. Your stomach cell DNA has tags telling you to produce hydrochloric acid for digestion while your eye cells do not. This means that even though they have the same genetic code, your stomach can digest while your eyes can just see. In simple terms, there are changes to your DNA without really changing your DNA. If you switch the nucleotides up, it would be a permanent genetic mutation. On the other hand, epigenetic modifications would be like adding tags on top of the DNA, either adding or removing functions of the DNA. These tags don't change the DNA, but they change the way the cell reads it. There are two major kinds of epigenetic modifications. DNA methylation is when the epigenome attaches to the protein on the DNA, reducing transcription or readability. Histone acetylation or deacetylation regulates gene expression by opening up or closing the chromatin structure by loosening or tightening the DNA wound around it. Neither of these processes are permanent, but make good decisions because it could affect your future offspring. All this is really cool, but how is it relevant? Epigenetics plays a huge role in modern science and medicine. Everyone has genetic weak links, but social factors like stress can wear out and break these links. Major genetic diseases like cancer and neurological disorders are epigenetic changes, and with new technology like the CRISPR tool, we might soon be able to snip-snap cure these deadly diseases plaguing the world.